Short Lessons by the Office Expert. Hi. In this lesson, we're going to learn when to use absolute versus relative cell references. Today, we're going to be working in Excel 2007. I have prepared a spreadsheet here to show you a typical example as to when you would use absolute versus relative. Let's take Annie for instance. She has a $10,000 salary retainer and she's sold $10,000 worth of sales. We're going to work out her commission, which is 5% of her sales. First, we need to click into where we want the formula to go. I'm going to click into H3. We can tell that it's H3 because H here is in orange, highlighted, and so is the 3. And we can also look into the name box here and find that we're in cell H3. Let's start our formula with an equal sign. Enter an equal sign on your keyboard. And we're going to go and click on the principal amount, which is G3. It's better to click as opposed to typing to avoid errors and typos. Next, we have to choose one of these operators on the left from subtraction, addition, division, and multiplication. For this equation, we're going to need the multiplication sign, which is the asterisk next to the 8 on your keyboard. Enter it in, and then click on to the commission amount. 5% that it we've got up here in H1. Let's test our formula. Hit enter on your keyboard. $500. We don't need to continue to enter these formulas manually. We can just drag our formula down. Let's go ahead and click on the cell and hover the mouse over the very bottom right hand corner of our cell until you get the thin black cross. All you need to do is click right there with the mouse, hold it down and drag it down to the range that you want the formula to be copied to. Now we've come up with a few errors and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to turn formulas on by holding down the control key on my keyboard followed by the tilde, which is underneath the escape key, the squiggly line. I'm going to scroll to the right to have a look at my formula. Looking at our spreadsheet in formula view allows us to see where errors lie in our formulas. We can see here that each of these cells are relative cell references, which means that when you drag a formula down, it takes the very next corresponding cell in line, G4, G5, G6, G7. However, it also took the cells in the commission column down correspondingly. This is the cell that we want to turn into an absolute, so it locks the 5% in place. To do that, you can click between the H and the 1, or you can alter your formula up here in the formula bar. Hit the F4 key on your keyboard. The function key F4 will turn your H1 relative cell reference into an absolute cell reference. That's why we've got the dollar signs. Dollar sign H, dollar sign 1. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard now. I'm now ready to drag my new formula down. So I'm, I've clicked back on H3 and I'm going to drag it down to the corresponding cells. Can you see how it's locked in H1 in every single commission cell now? Which is what we want to use the 5%. Using absolute cell references allows us to change the percentage in one place instead of 5. Can you see how it was OK to use a relative cell reference? for our column G because we wanted the dragging motion to take the next cell down. But in the case of our commission, we only had our commission in one place, in cell H1. That's why we needed to lock that cell down by using an absolute cell reference. I'm going to turn off formulas now so we can see what our result's going to be. Control tilde. I'm going to scroll back over to the left and I can see that our formula is now correct. We've now got 5% of our sales in our commission column. 
This concludes our lesson today on absolute versus relative.